Welcome to the video tutorial on showcasing reports built using query to report web application. We have two reports to showcase. One is a sales dashboard. This report is a non-parameterized report which shows a revenue breakdown by different product categories. There are two rows and each row has four elements each. The top row elements display one measure whereas the second row element shows two measures which are revenue and units sold all these chart types are supported by query to report web application the second report caters to a use case of displaying server performance this is a parameterized report where you have to enter the list of host names for which you want to look at the data and the time range in terms of start and end date. So I'm going to select two months uh, time period to view the data and apply the parameters. You would see there are two elements, top element showing the CPU utilization and bottom element showing memory and swap utilization. The bottom elements is a stepped area chart, whereas the top element is a line chart. In the line chart, you would see there are several peaks at regular intervals. Now, if I have to zoom in on a particular peak, then I can change the chart type to annotated line chart, which provides a time range slider for me to select a particular time range and look at a peak a little more carefully. Now in the bottom chart, let's change the data representation from a step area chart to something else, let's say a column chart. The changes to the chart type are transient in nature and will get overwritten by the original type when we refresh the element. If you have to make the changes permanent, you have to edit the report and change the chart type and save the report. That's all I had. Thank you.